I was about to read this question. The question is, I don't have to ask a question. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today on this video, I'm going to be answering questions that you guys have asked me about my skating. This first question is about transitioning out of skating. What have you learned most about yourself during this transition out of competitive skating and into what your life is today? The transition is harder than I imagined. It's harder because for the last 20 years, I've had one goal that I was focused on every single day. It was what I ate, slept, and drank. I would wake up, I would go to the rink, I would train all day, I would come home, and I would do that all over again. You know, my life now is every day is something different. Every week is a new project but there's nothing like that intense focus that you have as an athlete. And I'd be lying if I said it, I didn't miss it on some level. It's just interesting. It's a harder process than I thought. It's been challenging, but it's been really cool because I've learned a lot about myself. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this says, since you're one of the very few male skaters to be open about their sexuality, is there pressure from the skating union to keep quiet? I would say that no, there isn't any pressure to keep quiet. I think times are changing and people are becoming more open and honest with who they are and sharing that with people. As a young kid, you get teased a lot for being gay even before you even know it. Sometimes when you get teased for something that you really don't wanna be that thing. And for me, that was the case. When I got older, I was super lucky that I had great friends and I have a really awesome family. I felt comfortable to share that part of me. And I think me being out and me sharing that helped me as an athlete because I was honest and I was going out there and I was being my authentic self and I was being genuine to who I was and I knew that as a skater you only have a few minutes to completely and totally represent who you are that when I was out I was able to do that and be totally me and everything about me was just out there and it was take it or leave it. Still to this day it's a little take it or leave it. Okay, this is sort of a skating question. What was it like working with Superfruit? Working with Superfruit was awesome. When we first got started, I had no idea what to expect. I really didn't know how the day was gonna go, but they were great. I love Scott and Mitch to death. The one thing that I wanna share is that I had started using retinol, which is basically this cream that you put on your face at night, and when you start using it, some people say that you get like the retin uglies, which basically means that it's very drying, so sometimes you'll have pieces of skin that fall off, or dry patches, and I was like, I can handle that. Well, then I started doing it, and I felt like I had just walked a little too close to the sun. I got to the rink where we were filming. I go in, and we start putting makeup on me. All of a sudden, the makeup artist starts putting makeup around my eyes, and my eyes start burning. But I was like, I'm not a baby. I'm gonna work through this. I'm gonna power through it. We film the first scene. I go over to the makeup artist right after, and I'm like, can we take the makeup off around my eyes because it's really hurting? And she took it off, and I thought for like a minute I had a chemical burn around my eyes, and I didn't. Was my vision in danger? Yeah, probably. Was it for art? Yes. Worth it? Completely. Would I do it again? In a heartbeat. Will you become a coach? Will you mentor others who have a similar journey? Yes. I think that skating is always going to be a part of my life. I love performing. I love creating. One of my favorite things to do is when I have time, I love to go into the rink and I love to work with other younger skaters and up and coming skaters to help them create programs so that they can enjoy skating the same way that I did, that they can express themselves. And for me, it feels like therapy and it feels really therapeutic. There's something really awesome about being a teacher because you can go in and help someone achieve a goal that they have for themselves or you can help someone feel a certain way about themselves and it's really special. I'm really special actually. At the Olympics, how much time did you spend practicing or prepping versus having fun and would you change the work fun ratio if you could go back and redo it? I probably was practicing and prepping 95% of the time and spent the other 5% having fun. And I would say my version of having fun was walking around the village, meeting a few of the athletes and spending time getting to know everybody or watching other events. But while I was at the Olympics, I was super busy. I had events over the course of like a week and a half. That was my number one goal, was to compete and do my best. And I was able to do that, but I needed to stay focused. When the competition was over, I started doing media. So it was like immediately as soon as it was over, I started working, but it was like good. 
What would you say to a young athlete who has big goals but doesn't know how to achieve them? Figure it out. But I think I would honestly say, don't worry about it. Start from where you want to go and work your way backwards. The path is always going to be a little bit different than you think, so just remember where you want to go and don't focus on how you're going to get there. You'll get there and just do it. What is the most rewarding thing about figure skating? I would say the most rewarding thing about skating is that it teaches you a lot about yourself. You have to go out in front of thousands of people and just put it all out there. And if you make a mistake, you have to be accountable for those mistakes. All of those people see you at your worst and they see you at your best. It makes you have a tough skin. It can be really hard. If you focus on the right things, it really can be one of the best experiences. I think all kids should do sports when they're young, whether they're good at it or not, because it teaches you to set goals. It teaches you to focus on yourself. Even if you're on a team, I think you need to like focus on how you feel like you're performing for your team and what you're doing for your team. Really, at the end of the day, I feel that winning is not everything. And I know that, yeah, it is. But at the same time, if you go into every single thing you do and you feel like a winner, or even if you make a mistake, that if you learn from it, you walk away and you are still a winner because it's how you feel about yourself. And if you feel good about yourself, you've done all the right things. Okay, this isn't a skating question, but I really want to answer it. If you could shoot any two liquids out of your pointer fingers, what would they be and why? I would want gasoline to come out of this finger. Then I could fill my car up anytime I wanted it for free, but charge for it to other people, like make them Venmo me. And then this one, I would do, okay, let's think. Oh, champagne, gasoline and champagne. Well, you guys, thank you so much for all those questions. I hope you feel enlightened. I know I do. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe, hit the bell, and keep watching. Thanks.